I mean, I suppose we could conk a zombo over the head with this. Can we? Is this a weapon? It is! Look at that! Okay, we're gonna start conking zombies with this. This is our new melee weapon. We're gonna get rid of the sledgehammer and use the impact driver from now on. Okay. And if you buy that, I've got some oceanfront property for sale right here in Colorado. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy of an Old Guy Gaming. And in this episode, we're going to go out and do some questing, uh, as promised. Uh, but a couple things. Uh, first of all, let me adjust the DPI on my mouse because it's a little too hot. Uh, okay, so some comments. Let's see. First comment. Not necessarily in order. One of you guys told me that if I make the ladders going up to our horde base out of blocks... Um, in other words, these ladders here, ladder, 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 where the heck are you? Ladder, windows, destruction, stairs, these ladders, then I can upgrade them to titanium. Fantastic. That is like an awesome, awesome tip that hadn't even occurred to me. So thank you very much uh, for that awesome tip. Um, a couple of you reminded me to take a steroids when I have a broken leg, which I still do. Uh, so let's do that now. I actually carry steroids with me, but more for weight capacity, but they're also very good for when you have a broken leg. Um, so thank you for reminding me to do that. I'll probably forget again, so just keep reminding me. And then also was brought up that I should be using night vision goggles, which I completely agree. And so we are going to put the night vision goggles in our inventory, and we're going to keep them in here forever and ever and ever and that way, I will always have them moving forward when we need them in situations such as when we're trying to hunt screamers and we don't want our light to be on. So thank you guys very much for the comments. Really appreciate it. Keep them coming. And, you know, just thanks, everybody, for watching, too. I, I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Hey, I didn't know there was a camera up there. Look at that. Okay. Actually, I should be taking that apart with the wrench to get some parts, not hitting it with the axe. Yeah, so uh, if you didn't catch the last episode, we pretty much spent... The first part of that episode, Hunting Screamers, because I had a whole bunch of them that I called in. And then we did some more work on upgrading uh, the Deshong Tower. So we're making progress on that, but we still have quite a ways to go. And I haven't, I don't think I've been back in the game off camera mining or anything since then. So, or maybe I did, I can't remember. But it looks like we do have some steel cooking up in here. And you're probably working on cement, which you are. Okay, so that's a good thing. Uh, but we're not going to do any building in this episode. We are going to go out and do some questing and um, looting and that sort of thing. All right, so let's see. Do I have anything in here? No. Do I have anything in here? You're making stone dust, okay? You need to be emptied out because you're making other things. Coal powder and whatnot. So we'll put all this stuff in here for now. Fantastic. Uh, how are we doing on ammo, by the way? We have a full round of 762s, snipers. We got a pretty good decent shotguns, pretty good decent cro uh, pretty decent amount. That's what my brain is telling my mouth to say, but my mouth is doing whatever the heck it wants, which is normal. Uh, yeah, so good. We don't need to take, if we're just going to go out and about and loot and stuff, we don't need to take a bunch of these tools with us. So let's drop off our jackhammer. That's right, we got that stinger uh, from a treasure thingamadoodle. Uh, we don't need the auger. I might hang on to, well, nah, we don't need the Valkyrie drill here. That's just heavy stuff. We will take the shovel and the pick and the axe, you know, the normal tools and the, the wrench. We don't need to take this gasoline with us, so let's put that back away there. Uh, we've got Roberta the Robotic Drone in our inventory. We've got three things of hobos, too. How are we doing on food and water? We're actually doing quite well on food and water. And I think we're good to go. we got a little bit of money with us. In case we run across some good stuff to buy. You have three uh, minutes and 30 seconds left and four. Yeah, okay, so you got plenty of burn time to finish up there. I might actually take these out of here now and just start converting them into steel plating, which we need for all kinds of things. Uh, the plan, as far as the horde base goes, is you know to get it repaired and upgraded, but I'm also planning on putting some electric fences in before the next horde night. So I think I can make that stuff, right? Let's take a look. Electric fence post. Uh, that's the schematic. I don't want the schematic. I want the actual fence post itself. That's going to be probably... 
Made in the workbench? Yeah, because the wire relay's made in here. So can we also make the fence? We can't, because I don't know it. Oh, let's grab these. Um, do I have any electric fences? If I did, they'd probably be here in the parts. What the heck? Hmm. All right, we might need to buy those, or at least buy one, and then I can make the schematic for it from the trader, because we do not actually have those in there. It's possible that I could have put them in here, but I wouldn't have done that deliberately. Okay, put the thing in the, in the thingy. The thingy in the thingy. Nope, nothing's coming up under fence in there either. Uh, wouldn't be in clothing and armor. Shouldn't be in motor parts, no. We already looked in there and shouldn't be in here. Okay, yeah, so we, we need to check the trader for uh, some fence posts because... As of right now, I can't make them, which kind of sucks. I don't have them in here, would I? I shouldn't. Here, let's put some of this money back in here, too, just to lighten up just a tad bit more. Uh, nope, don't see that stuff in there. Okay. Hey, in terms of upgrades, we still have a couple stations we need to upgrade. What does this require for upgrading? We have everything we need except for some more research data, but you know what? Um... I don't know if I want to give up my nail gun. <laughs> Excuse me, Gazuntite. Can I make a nail gun? Whoops. Nail. I cannot. Yeah, we might have to wait before we upgrade this because I don't want to give up my nail gun. Sorry, don't want to do it. But if we can find one from the trader, maybe we can do that. I think the ballistics table could stand to be upgraded, though. And it's out of range, but all of the fact, we probably have all this stuff right now. What if we do this? Why don't we pick this guy up? Take him over here and just temporarily set him down so he's in range of all of the stuff. All right, we need tin gears and three iron pipes. Uh, I think we need steel ingots for those. Yes. All right. So let's cancel that for a second. Tin and three. Okay, so I know we, we should have plenty of iron to make a few more pipes. I think we just needed three more of those. So let's craft those. And then we need to make 10 of these. Okay. And then uh, with that stuff, we should be able to make uh, or finish that upgrade for the ballistics table. Then I think I think all that we have left is just then the work workstation. But, I mean, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't want to give up my nail gun if that's the only one we have do we have another nail gun you know we should be using this impact driver too at least until i'm ready to do the upgrade modify all right um do we have anything else we could put on there <laughs> Uh, can you put a weighted head mod on? I wouldn't think so. Serrated blade we shouldn't be able to put on. Sometimes you'd be surprised what you can... You can put a weighted head mod on here. Okay. The only advantage to doing that is it, it does increase the block damage of the device. It's not like we're going to use it for an actual weighted head mod. I mean, I suppose we could conk a Zombo over the head with this. Can we? Is this a weapon? It is! Look at that! Okay, we're going to start conking zombies with this. This is our new melee weapon. We're going to get rid of the sledgehammer and use the impact driver from now on. Okay. And if you buy that, I've got some motion front 
property for sale right here in Colorado. Okay, anyway, um, it could work. <laughs> Fun. Okay, so what are we doing? We are grabbing these items out of here. And then we're going here and oh we got to get the hammer in our hand oh where is the hammer 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 time hammer time there's a hammer right there actually we don't even need it in our hand we just need it in our inventory and boom ballistic table is upgraded does this go to three it does not okay so we have finished that that is fantastic we'll put the hammer back in here and oh, I guess I had an extra, extra pipe, so this one can go in here. Nice. All right, so we have a fully upgraded ballistics table. We can make compound, but ooh, auto shotguns. We have a blue auto shotgun. Oh, I can only make an H level, so that's going to suck. Yeah, see, the thing is, is the way Undead Legacy works <clears throat> is you can only make the lowest level stuff, and then you have to upgrade it in the workbench. And by the way, I've had a few people ask me how come i'm not uh or you know did you know og that you can upgrade in the maintenance station in this mod and my you know and absolutely i'd know that but all this pretty high level stuff you see in my toolbar is just stuff we've gotten from looting in the wasteland and it gets pretty expensive you know to upgrade this all the way even up to just the blue level so i haven't really found the need to have to do that so anyway, yeah, that's the answer to that question. Uh, exploding arrows, nice. Just looking real quick at what the other options are here. Timed charges. Uh, we know contact grenades. We know grenade grenades. I haven't. Contact grenades are very, very situational. They're not. I haven't found them to be super useful. Not like regular nades are. I guess. I guess no. We don't know how to make regular nades. All right. Well. Hopefully we'll come across the schematic for that at some point. But anyway, we've got that upgraded. Oh, we can make the specialty, the hollow point rounds. Eh, never been a big fan of hollow points in this game. Um. Okay, so that's done. Um, in fact, we could probably just leave it there. It's not really in the way. And uh, this is already tier three. That doesn't need to be upgraded. This is tier two, and it doesn't have any more upgrades. This is tier two. It doesn't have any more upgrades. So I believe the last thing to upgrade now is going to be the workbench. But we have to sacrifice an impact driver and a nail gun to do that. And I'm not willing to do that yet. So, yeah, we'll just wait on that. All right, guys, we need to get going here because time is a-wasting. Uh, let's take a look in here. I don't have anything cooked up at the moment. Um, actually, you know what, though? We're, we're fine on food. I think I will have some yucca juice, though, just to kind of top off our hydration. Maybe we'll have a yucca and a normal water. I have these eight mineral waters in our inventory some, and some coffee, but I want to hang on to that stuff. And do we have an active quest? I don't remember. Let's take a look. We do. We have a tier four quest. Um, let's toggle it active. And it's the drive-in. All right. We've done the drive-in before, but hey, we'll do it again. Let's go. Let's head on down. Nothing in there. Okay, so let's see. The drive-in is... Where is the drive-in? What time is it? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. All right, we got lots of time. There's a nurse Nancy. She, is she pursuing us? There's a couple Zeeks down the street there. Uh, all right. So let's see. Where are we going for this? Oh, way out that way. All right. Let's go on a road trip. We'll expose some more territory. That's a little little bit of a long ways out. You know what? We'll stop off at the traders uh, along the way because I want to see if they have fence posts. Even if we can just get one fence post, then we can probably make the schematic for it. Uh, except for I did just spend a bunch of research data, but we should be able to get more of that. And honestly, I mean, for you know what I have planned, we could probably get by with even just one 
Well, we would need two fence posts. I'd like to probably do more than that, but for starters, that would probably fit the bill for what I kind of have in mind. All right, let's run in here really quick and just see what they got in their inventory. We got a buzzard over there, so he's probably going to attack us when we get back on the bike. And let's also... Hi. Hi. Let's check this. Okay, we want you, and we want you, and we want you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Okay, I'm sorry. I know that's probably getting irritating now. We don't need the chicken ration. Greetings. Greetings. Okay, let's take a look at your inventory. Fence posts. Bud, do you have any fence posts? You got a, you got a motorcycle and a truck engine. Okay. What about in here? What's this? Harvest more lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. Okay. Sort of useful. Oh, look at this. A renegade motorcycle. That's neat. This is a motorcycle repair kit. That's if we want to repair a broken motorcycle. I don't think we need that to repair our motorcycle. Oh, look. He's got research data for sale. That's interesting. How much does that cost? Wait, what? Oh, it costs forty-three thousand eight hundred seventy-two dollars. <laughs> I was gonna say what? It only costs eleven forty-seven. That's the quantity. All right, how much does just one of these dudes cost? Thirty-eight bucks. Okay, that's interesting to know, um, and good to know. You know that he has those. But other than wise, um, thanks. Anyways, I do need to repair my motorcycle. We should go look at that. What do you have, Manga? You got a generator, but I'm pretty sure I either either have a generator or can make a generator. Okay. And what about you in your secret? He's got some schematics we could... Ooh. A scout. $127,000 for that sucker. And change. All right. Um, He's got... Several things we could buy to make more research data. What's this? Jonah Rex's blade? Saw blade. Our blade's much better than that. Okay, well, neither one of these dudes really has anything phantasmagorical, but I do want to check something. Right. Right. Let's go see. What do we need to repair our motorcycle? Because it kind of, I think it's down like half health. Um, open that. We do need a motorcycle repair kit for that. Ah, okay. So you can't just use just a normal repair kit on that. Well, I think we're going to buy ourselves a motorcycle repair kit, ladies and gentlemen. Because that's not something I see every day. How much does this sucker cost? Oh, wait, wait was it you? No, I it understand. You. It was you. He understands. Oh, yeah, easy money. Okay, we're buying that. Much obliged, stranger. Much obliged. And we're going to learn it, and now we can make a motorcycle repair kit to repair our motorcycle. That's fantastic. All right, well, let's let's head on out. We're going to go over to the other trader, check to see if they have electric fence posts or other things. Hey, you know what? I want to conk a buzzard with an impact driver. Okay. Maybe not quite as effective as my sledgehammer, but it does work. Just in case those a dogs come in here. Worth a, dime anymore. a nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Okay, we're buying this. We're buying those. Those. And those. I don't think we need to buy anything else. All right, what you got, Mang? We need electric fence posts. What 
What's that? Oh, a dome light. What's that? A titanium spear? Nice. We don't have any points at spears, though. All right, let's take, check the secret stash. Uh, batter up volume 7. Learn to craft a metal chain mod. We already have a metal chain modification. However, I wonder what the end thingy of this is. He's got a crucible, but I see those fairly often. And I think we have an extra one anyways. There's a blade trap. All right, well, hmm. I got better things to do than stare at the likes of you. Let's look at uh, batter up. Power attacks to kill your enemy, refill your stamina meter. That could be worth having in the long run. Because, well, does that only... That only applies to probably clubs, though. Eh. 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 Uh, Alright, so I guess he doesn't really have anything we're interested in. So let's head on over to our quest location. Still 1.3 clicks out. Um, there's a highway. Yeah, let's see if this highway will get us more or less in that direction. Maybe this one over here. Okay, this is new territory, folks. We have not been any further east than this. I don't think, anyways. I don't remember... Going any further east than this? So we got a whole other town here. What do you know? Hi there. Carl's Corn. There's a working stiffs. Big mama. Those buzzers still after us. Uh, that one looks like it might have gotten stuck behind the grain elevator place. Yeah, he's still aggroing on us. Okay. You dead. I don't think that one's aggroed on us. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh. Uh Oh crap, there's a bear in there. That's not good. We're probably going to have to deal with him. What is this? this is a clear. Okay. Um well, let's get started with it then. I do not I don't double loot on quests in this playthrough. If I come to a, a POI that I don't have a quest for and I grab the in loot and then come back later, that's that's okay. But I don't. If I have an actual quest, I won't double loot it. No, it's just kind of one of the rules we established at the beginning of this playthrough. Which seems like that was such a long time ago now. <sighs> Alright, we're going to have to eliminate this bear. Um, I don't want the cop coming after us at the same time, though. So let's see if we can pull the cop first. And uh, the weather kind of sucks now, too. I, I can't even see the cop. He's somewhere behind that red car. Well, dang. I'm a little bit concerned about all of the uh, dudes out here, too. We might want to do a little bit of marksman uh, practice. Just to get rid of them, because I don't want them coming in at me while the bear is coming out at me. Or, yeah, something like that.
Would the night visions help in the rain, or is it just going to make everything look all jank? Um, F. Yeah, that does kind of help a little bit. I remember in Alpha 17, the night vision goggles were terrible. All they did was turn everything green, and they did absolutely nothing to make it brighter. Oh, we didn't kill you. Now we did. All right. I think we're probably sort of kind of clear out here. I don't see anybody else in the immediate vicinity. I really would like to take that cop out before we take on the bear. I've told you guys this before, but the bear scare me more than any other Zeke here in the wasteland. Yeah, run straight at me. There you go. Good boy. Okay, is little friend completely loaded? How about shotgun? Shotgun's completely loaded. All right. Oh, shit! Uh, okay. Run! Bear takes priority! Oh, man. I... I disintegrated him. <laughs> it's alright. I'd rather disintegrate him than have him kill us. I mean, our health is already less than half. Let's take a pain pill. Get that back up, and we're gonna need some beverage to counter that, so... Let's throw back a one of those. Let's also have a hobo stew that's going to give us a little bit of health back and should top our food off. And I think we're ready to start clearing. Now, this POI, I have done it before, and I maybe have even done it on Undead Legacy. I can't remember. I know for sure I did it in vanilla. Uh, but we're going to have a, a few areas where... It's going to get exciting. You know what? Let's turn those off for now because they're a little too bright. And... Get out of here. All right. So we basically just need to... Oh, shit. Go through the whole thing because this is a, a clear quest. Oh no, not good. Little friend. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I hit four, but it wasn't it didn't register. Oh no. This is not good. 